Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ruin Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we managed to not only beat the boss of Clemens Cave, the Reflesia, but we also managed to come up to this table and just go, yeah, we own this now. And, you know, this shelf. I, I organize things, that's what I'm trying to say. These are the tools I will not be using for quite some time. Uh, these are the items that I want to keep. Other than that, we're going to either be selling and gifting the rest of our stuff. So, let's get to it for today. I actually wanted to check. Can I... <clears throat> can I hold this? I can. Which means I can ship it. Besides that, I can ship the higher level of these as well. And I'll ship just the stack of nine. There we go. So, I'm not exactly positive what we've done, as it has been like a week or so. I know, like, theoretically what we've done for the day, but I need to check something. Ah, oh, we're doing well in wood. Almost halfway there, we're not even halfway in the month. Wow. That's fantastic. I'm really happy with our progress this far. Oh, right, I forgot about Sharon. Good to know. Okay, for now, let's head up to Clemens. I just want to kill a few monsters here before we do anything. Okay. This is just my way of just reintroducing myself to the game. No flare element. That's disappointing. You know, it's totally disappointing killing one enemy and not getting the rare drop. And a skill up with our swordsmanship. Perfect. Okay, we're doing well for ourselves. Now we switch over to our hammer and use up the last of our RP. Hello. Did you know that taking walks is good for your health? You're always running around, aren't you, Raguna? It's good to see you in such good health. Hey, how big are the monsters in the caves? Huge in this one. Thank you! I love it when people come and take a bath here. That'll be 10G. Thanks! Enjoy your bath! Papa's a brilliant doctor, I'll give him that, but why does he want to live here in the middle of nowhere? Pop doesn't tell me anything, that makes me even madder. You know, there's not much to do in this town, still, I kinda like it here. Kima seems more fit for the city life, he's always talking about how he wants to leave this place. Still, he's one of the hardest working farmers around. <laughs> I tell you, Raguna, we were meant to live in harmony with the land, nothing good has ever come from machine civilization. When taken in moderation, alcohol can be good for your health. Of course, this is purely off the record. Lala is a real hard... Translation issues. Okay, Laura is a real hard worker. I'd be relieved if Camus married a girl like that. I know his love life is none of my business, though. <laughs> I drink when I want to. That's when it tastes the best. Hello. I know I shouldn't drink so much, but I never really get drunk. Raguna, you must have learned to use the sword properly at some point, eh? If you didn't, there'd be no way you'd be so strong. I've been getting a strange premonition lately. It's probably just my imagination, but... Our thoughts are always with you, you know. Uh... where? Is it me, or are there more and more monsters of late? I never saw a vegetable monster. Then you've obviously never played the later Rune Factory games. Thank you for the strawberry, you really know what I like. Awesome! I'm not sure if I'd given him one today, so I just gave him one. Hopefully that won't be a problem. I'm fairly sure I gave her one before, so... It should be fine, even if I haven't. It's not gonna kill me missing one day. Alright. We're gonna head back into Clemens Cave and just kinda grind out the rest of the day. Start... To... 
I just saw someone. I'm really not sure who that was. That might have been missed. I'm not positive. But uh, one way or another, I've just got to kind of uh, spend the rest of the day, use up my time, because starting tomorrow, I want to actually make progress. Story progress is going to be pretty consistent for this first season, but there's going to be a bit of a barrier ahead of us, and also that's a skill hub. Nice. Luckily for us, the first few dungeons you can do with no kind of limiter. After the next dungeon, there is a bit of a limiter, and we'll get into that when we get there. For those of you who have actually played the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But we'll get into that. Level up. Chop. Okay, I never actually bothered to check whether it actually, you know, watered everything, and I should've, but... I don't always trust past me to have done everything. Okay, it seems like I did, and that's good. Uh, let's grab these while I'm here. Clear out our field here. This takes a lot more than I thought it would. I don't think I can break these then. If it's taking that many, I really don't think so. Which, I think past me knew, but current me is just like, uh, I don't know. I might be able to. I know I said I wouldn't just, you know, spend the huge amount of time, but uh, I want my cooking skill to be a bit higher and I have nothing to do with all this RP for the day. So I guess I'm just going to waste a huge amount of time. See you in just a moment. Okay, I am now like level 10 or 11 or something cooking, so that's good enough for tonight. Okay, I have everything sorted. I'm high enough level in cooking for now, almost out of HP. So let's go to bed. And it's raining again on Monday. Which means I can't do the watering can again. When it comes to regular rainstorms, that's the luck of the draw. Um, the one time I will save scum is if I just, you know, am going to summer and getting a bunch of uh, uh, typhoons or whatever they're called. That's just not, you know, what I'm all about. I'm here to use a little bit of RP. Considering I'm almost out of uh, things to water, might as well do this a little bit before everything else. Spawns behind me, of course. Is this just the junk pile? Eh, silver, but silver isn't that great, to be honest. No, I guess not. We're doing fine. Skill up. And I will be picking all these plants eventually. Ah, I missed. But for now, there's no real reason to. It's not like we can cook them all up and do good things with them. So for now, you know, they're just a good source of RP. I don't think I ever refilled my watering can. Nope, I did not. Eh, whatever. I'll take care of that in just a minute. More strawberries. Hey, Xavier. Thanks, I like the medicinal herb. We're going to be best friends. I really think those sex empire guys are up to something. You think so too, right, Raguna? Did you know that... Yes, I did know this, actually. You really are strong, Raguna. I never knew you had it in you. I heard there was a huge monster in Clemens' cave, too. Good morning. It looks like you're still determined to risk your life in those caves. Raguna, be careful. Sometimes I get the jitters just watching you, Raguna. Well, looks like we're impressing everyone. Raguna, I don't know how I can possibly express my gratitude. Thank you. He's... only cares about that, actually. You saved Cece! Once again, only cares about that. 
Um, Hello. some kind of magic book called Inferno or something came in. Mr. Goon, I'm so relieved that you're alright. Raguna, thank you for saving me. So, Inferno should be this one? Has the magic book been delivered? Inferno, 8100 in Crimson Fire. I... Uh, let's see. I don't remember which ones these are. I don't typically use the fire spells that much. So I'm kind of hazy on which ones these are. One of them might be the ones that does like a few fireballs. And the other one might be like a kind of explosion something. Future Gabe can cover that. Or in another episode I might just cover all the spells. It, you know, we, we're not going to get all, access to all of them for a while. So it doesn't really matter for now. What really matters is just going around talking to everyone. Even if Newman's not working, let's stop in and say hi. Oh yeah, Newman's on the second floor. He's such a pain. He never works when it rains. Raguna, even though you have your own farm, you head out to the caves. You're a real man of action. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm glad we're impressing everyone. Hello. I never feel like doing any work when the weather takes a turn for the worse. <laughs> <laughs> Stop in and say hi to Hello? Jasper and company. I heard you defeated a vegetable monster. Maybe it tastes good in salad. <laughs> Only joking. And we actually have a gift for him. Jasper, as you may remember, is a gastron gastronomist. I don't know why I have trouble saying that word for a moment. So he loves food. Give him any kind of baked dish and he loves it. Cooked dish, I should say. Pickles? Wow! He likes it. And there are a few loved gifts as well, but, you know, pickles are easy to do, so we're just going to stick with that. Hello. I feel like there's been some kind of upheaval in the world of the monsters. I wanted to see that huge vegetable monster. It'd be fun to grow it here. Don't think it'd be fun, considering it was able to paralyze, poison, seal. It had a huge amount of HP, huge amount of attack, and was able to summon other monsters. That just sounds like a bad thing, in general. Hey, is it really true you lost your memory, but you remember how to talk? Yeah, and we've totally never talked about this before. I hear you encounter some kind of plant monster. There must be lots of monsters we don't know about out there. Yes, yes, there are. Many of which do not appear in this game. When I drink like this, I remember the promise I made with me master. What kind of promise did you make? To forge a sword of scale shaped from Grimoire. That'd be my promise, I. I, but Grimoire is a legendary beastie, and I have no idea what it'd be. <laughs> So, raised by a dwarf, Master made him promise to make a Grimoire sword, didn't tell him what Grimoire was. I'm pretty sure that the dwarves know what Grimoire is. Honestly, that Master sounds like a dick. I love him. <laughs> I don't work in bad weather, I. When I drink like this, I remember the pro- oh, yeah, this is the same one. Eh, whatever. Big monsters seem to really like you. Hey, was there anything of interest in Clemens Cave? I mean, giant plant, giant giants, giant ants. Everything was giant in there, and also on fire. Or, I guess, around lava. Okay, and that's talking with everyone for today. There are a couple people who didn't comment on things, but... Eh. I don't care about every piece of dialogue, just the ones that I really think matter. And I think that getting them... Actually, before we do this, there's one person who should be available today who I believe I can talk to. So, let's go talk to Sharon. Also, I just, I've realized recently, I cut myself off a huge amount, and I don't continue those thoughts. Hello. There may be some kind of mystery surrounding this town called Tar Cardia. Damn, oh, wow. I don't want to get too friendly with the townsfolk. I'd hate if these ruins attracted attention. There's been something strange in the air recently. Maybe it's just my imagination. Okay, well, she doesn't really have anything to say about it. But we're getting a good amount of these, so... Let's gift another fire crystal. Wow, I was looking for a fire crystal for so long. I'm so happy to get this. Well, I'm glad you're happy. So, like I was saying, we've talked to everyone that really mattered. A few people won't talk about it because it's a rainy day, and of course it's a rainy day, but... Let's see what he has to say. There was a large monster in Clemens' cave. That's the third one. I'm getting worried. I'll go and investigate it. 
Raguna, please tend to your farm, the fields, and the caves that you explore. I won't issue the next pass until you plow 100 squares in Clemens Cave. I never did that. I think this is the first time we've actually hit a point where I couldn't move on to the next cave for non-story reasons. I haven't been plowing the fields at all. Did I even... Yeah, I still have my hoe on me. Whoops, I completely forgot about this. Let's head in Clemens Cave and take care of that right now. Oh, a fire crystal. Dang it. Eh, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. I'm plowing my fields. Okay, so this is a 6x6, six six, so we'll get 36 squares from this field. Skill up, once again. Okay, let's head down here. That gives us 36. This one down here should give us a huge amount as well. Okay. This will give us another 54, I believe, which will put us up to 90. Of course, not just this one down here. All of the ones in this room. So after we're done hoeing all the... Ah, dang it. After we're done plowing all these, I'll just head out. I'll heal up, and then we'll go back in here. Or, eh, might as well actually stay in here. Because I think I have the HP to actually plow everything. Oh, level up. We especially do not need to head back now. That puts us at 99 and 100. Um, if I want to, I can head over here. And I got sealed. Uh, and I think that's my last one, too. I have to be more careful. Okay, let's head back. And, honestly, we don't necessarily have to come to the bathhouse here. But, I'd like to take a bath. Just to get Melody to like us more. Okay. We're going to head into Tauros Cave now. And I'm going to just run through and see if we have any lumber that spawned. Just while we're here. No. I was hoping for an Agua element, to be honest. Ha! Ah, skill up. Perfect. That was less than perfect, though. Wow, today I'm just missing everything. And just to show off the boss room... Yeah, it's not here. Bye! Let's see. Was there anything out in our yard here? Don't care about yellow, I still care about these, though. Yellow doesn't matter, yellow doesn't matter. A skill up, nice. We're actually ridiculously high leveled for all of our skills right now, and for our actual level. Which kind of just puts us in this really awkward position, what do I do with all this? I'm used to being, like, sometime in the summer, like early summer at this point. I guess real quick, I'll run down to the next floor and see if there's any more lumber down here. There is, and that's always appreciated. I meant to grab that, actually. Okay. We're done in the cave here. I'll just grab these rune points, head back to the house, and then just waste them with the normal thing. All right. From here on out, I'll just include the level ups I get while doing the cooking, because not only do I have my HP bar here, well, my RP and HP bar here, but I have four or three, something like that, rune points right outside. So guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory Fantasy Harvest Moon, we'll be starting up the next cave. I've plowed everything I need to this episode, and the next cave is going to be a bit awkward. It's a bit of a maze, honestly, and it's kind of confusing, so... We'll be handling that. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Before we go, I also want to show off that I have this wood here at almost a thousand. We're halfway there. And we have over 17,000 G. And now it's time to experiment. 
can I actually use these, or will I 100% fail every time? And does this give better results? Cooking level 10 just before the end of the... Oh, I create flop. It only takes two points. Oh no, I forgot Newman's birthday on the 13th. I don't think I had anything he liked anyway, but I could have bought him an egg. Oh no.